disgusted contrived distasteful, James May slams the Sussexes over airing dirty laundry in public. The Grand Tour presenter James May has spoken out against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, saying they should know better than to talk about their private lives in public. James May has become the latest celebrity to take a public swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And the Grand Tour presenter's issue with the royal couple stems from them talking about their private lives, such as the explosive tell-all interview they gave to Oprah Winfrey. It's also recently been revealed that Harry is planning to release a memoir next year. James says that the royal family should be an exemplar and that Harry and Meghan should know better than to air their dirty laundry in public. He told, I don't take much interest in the royal family. The Meghan and Harry story sounded a little bit distasteful. People talking about their personal lives in public. Everyone's got issues like that, and I don't think the rest of us should know or care about it. I thought the whole point of the royal family is that they were supposed to be an exemplar. They're aristocrats, aren't they? They're supposed to know better, just keep it in. James also labeled jokes about Prince Andrew in the new The Grand Tour special locked down a bit contrived. Read the full interview in Radio Times, out now. Meanwhile, a new animated show that takes aim at Prince Harry and the Royals has come under fire. Harry's new life in L.A. was savaged in The Prince, an animated show from the perspective of his nephew, Prince George. The HBO show mocks Harry as he settles into an apartment in L.A. with Meghan after the couple decided to leave England and their lives as senior royals behind. A trailer sees Prince George handed a postcard from a butler, with him ripping it from the man's hand and saying, Let me see that. The scene then cuts to a U.S. street, and inside an apartment complex. Prince Harry, voiced by Orlando Bloom, walks around the modest living quarters with his hands behind his back, saying, This may be the smallest palace I've ever been in. Well it's an apartment, his former actress wife tells him. Harry responds, Yes, an apartment palace, I know that, causing Meghan's face to drop. He continues, Lots of tiny palaces inside one big palace. The cartoon created by Family Guy writer Gary Gennetti, has faced some backlash for targeting the royal children, who are usually seen as being off-limits for satire. After the trailer dropped, people took to Twitter to fume over the characterizations of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. George is seen asking a butler for tea that Louis demands a cup before slurping it up and smashing it on the ground. One person fumed online, whatever your thoughts on the royal family. I think everyone can agree that children should be off limits. This is so gross and I cannot understand how it ever got made hashtag the prince. Another posted, this cartoon show the prince is really disgusting. There is absolutely nothing comical about the storyline, plot or characters. The only purpose of this as far as I can tell is to once again embarrass the monarchy. Must be produced by American SFs. And a third wrote, disgusting. Exploiting a small boy to prop up a TV show and make money, and can't children be safe? This work is offensive and not funny. Targeting children in media is abhorrent. Especially since they were previously bullied and you are facilitating it. It sucks and I will never be watching it. Earlier this year, Harry explained how their decision to step down as senior royals was in order to lead a more private life, particularly for Archie. But royal expert Victoria Murphy has now explained. Meghan and Harry have taken the royal family, the media, and the public into uncharted territory with their decision to walk away from royal life. They have stepped back not in search of a totally private life but for a different kind of public life. A public life where they can have more control over who gets access to them and what they spend their time on. A source told Town & Country, they are hands-on, working non-stop on the development of Archul and it's giving them a lot of energy. They want to see positive and substantive change happen in this world, and they want to lift up the voices and platforms of dynamic and diverse leaders of all kinds who are already making that change a reality.